So this is going to be just a quick unboxing and analysis video of a reel that was sent to me by Pistafun well over a year ago. And that of course is going to be the Spark Pro Baitcaster. Now they sent this to me the same time that they sent out their Alios 300 swim bait reel. But by the time I got around to doing this video, I saw that the reel was put on clearance on Pistafun's website. So I thought it was being discontinued. So I didn't want to do a video on a discontinued reel, but it turns out that not only is this reel not discontinued, it's actually discounted to a really, really good price. So I figured I'd go ahead and knock this video out and let everyone know that this reel is still available on Pistafun's website for only $40 at the time of this recording. So let's get to it. I'm a big fan of Pistafun because it's a company that had the guts to send me products knowing that I do compare them against competitor products, even putting them in cast battles where we have winners and losers, and they were completely okay with that. So all you had was paperwork in the box, but let's check this reel out. Boom! Look at that. Now this is not the first time I've had a rainbow colored reel on my channel, but it's been quite a while. All right, very, very smooth. Look at that. So this is very similar to the Revo Ike as far as color goes that sold for like $250 while this reel is only $39.99 right now. So if you look at that spool, it looks pretty shallow and it's heavily ported. So you might think finesse reel which is what I'm thinking. Now it's kind of deep to be bait finesse, but look at that. Purple accents, spool tension, knob end caps. On the spool, and it's just enough purple, not a whole lot to overpower the reel, but it feels solid. Very smooth to turn the handle. Now I think when these came out, they were like $89 or $79. So at $39, this looks to be an absolute steal. But let me do my customary inspection. I'll take some notes and then we're gonna get some weights. Okay, so I'm done with my inspection and let's just go over my notes. Now, the first thing that surprised me about this Spark Pro is that it is a lot smaller and more compact than I thought it would be. It palms really, really good. I mounted it on a rod and it's very comfortable to palm. Now I will say that me personally, I do feel this sharp seam right here, but it's not uncomfortable. Now it's not the most low profile reel out there, but I'm gonna compare this reel to the current Corrado 200M just to give you, I guess, a view of just how big or small this Spark Pro is. So you can see it's definitely shorter than the Corrado M. They're about the same width, but it looks, I don't know, it looks to be a little bit lower profile but yeah it's a very small and compact reel where originally I thought it was bigger so that's a bonus now the next thing I noticed was that for I guess a Chinese reel this paint job is actually really really nice the quality of it is actually surprisingly good especially considering how low this reel is selling for right now but I didn't see any kind of irregularities, no paint bubbles, no pieces of 
debris caught underneath the paint. And just to compare, I guess, the rainbow effect of this paint job, I brought out my Abu Garcia Revo Ultracast BF8 as a comparison. And you can definitely see that the Revo has a more quality paint job, at least the finish is. But it should, considering this reel costs about $200. But there's definitely more blue and purple in the Spark Pro. Well, you can kind of see some green in this Revo. But yeah, very, very pretty and very quality paint job on this Spark Pro. Now, the build quality on this reel is also surprisingly good. I mean, I don't hear any kind of crazy noises, no rattling, no clacks, no gear meshing. The thumb bar, solid, no mush. Now it does make a little click just before it actually depresses. I don't know if you can hear that. Now that could be just my particular reel, but overall build quality on this thing is outstanding. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna quickly go over the specs on this reel. And to do that, I'm bringing the box back out. So as you can see, it comes in both left and right hand retrieve. Looks like it comes with 12 bearings. I don't know if it's 12 plus one or 12 total, including roller bearing, but the only retrieve ratio is 8.1 to one in both left and right. There's your inches per turn of the crank handle. There's your max drag, 16.5 pounds, which is a lot. It's supposed to weigh 6.1 ounces. We'll check that later. And check this out. Now the spool looks shallow, but look at the amount of 10 pound line it's supposed to hold, which is 145 yards. So that's only 10 yards less than the Corrado 200. I'm not sure how accurate that is, but the reel is made of all carbon. So the frame and the side plates are carbon and pretty much almost everything clicks. So of course, Dragstar clicks. Dragstar is made of metal. Spool tension clicks. It's kind of a soft muted feel, but the drag does not click or does not have a clicking drag. Now, of course the brake dial also clicks. But some other features of this particular reel is that this one comes with a 90 millimeter carbon fiber handle with these power knobs or power style EVA foam knobs. And the foam is actually nice to touch. Feels like high density. So it's not that scratchy, rough feeling foam. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's got a small tapered line guide. Now the opening is not nearly as wide as some other reels, but it's better than nothing. There's the other side of the line guide. So, I mean, for 40 bucks, it looks like you get a whole lot of reel, but I did want to say one thing. Now on Pistapun's website, it looks like the Spark Pros they have for sale come with flatter knobs, the flatter paddle type knobs, which I feel to be more comfortable and they come with a metal handle instead of carbon fiber, which I actually prefer as well. Carbon fiber is kind of played out, especially the generic carbon fiber handles you'll find on a lot of these reels. So that being said, let's see just how much or how little this spool weighs. Okay, so let's get a weight on the reel first. Change this over to ounces. And according to the scale, 6.05, so slightly under 6.1. So yeah, this reel is pretty lightweight. So small, compact, comfortable to palm, and pretty light. So now let's check out this spool. Okay, so the spool scales out 
And to get to the Spark Pro's spool, looks like there's a latch down here. And it takes a bit of effort to turn. And you just pull the side plate out. And let's check out these brakes. Looks like a standard MagTrack style static magnetic system that you find on most of the world's bait casters. It's got a total of eight magnets and the amount of adjustment you get with this external dial is 30 clicks. So a lot of adjustability, but with this being a MagTrack style system, I don't think you're probably gonna be able to get too deep into the brake settings, but I could be wrong. All right, so let's pull this spool out. And oh, look, they are going with a short spool shaft. The spool shaft actually looks like it's steel, not aluminum. Feels kind of heavy. Now there's a the bearing, but let's see what the scale says. Okay, wow. 12.22 with the bearing. So of course I'm gonna pop that bearing off. Okay, so the spool bearing's off and let's see what the scale says now. 11.05 grams. So this spool really reminds me of the spool of the Suronoi XF50, where it's not quite shallow enough to be considered bait finesse by today's standards, but it's not a really deep spool either. But it's also light. Now what I did while I took the spool bearing off was I also figured out what the spool diameter is and it's actually smaller than I thought. It's 32 millimeters. I thought it was going to be like 34, but I'm going to go ahead and show you the spool of some other reels that are considered finesse reels. This is the spool of the Daiwa Tatula 80. And this spool weighs 15.05 grams, so a whopping four grams more, and it definitely holds more line. Now here's the spool of what I guess could be considered the second cheapest finesse bait caster available for sale on Tackle Warehouse, and that's going to be Shimano's SLX MGL, a reel a lot of people forgot about. Now this reel retails for $150, and here's the spool of the SLX MGL. 13.18 so a little over two grams more than the spool of the spark pro and the line capacity is actually very similar very similar but the spool on the spark pro is actually narrower almost like a mgl3 narrow see i'm not sure if that uh, line capacity printed on the box is accurate this is a pretty shallow spool now not bfs shallow but i wouldn't be surprised if this reel could dip into upper end bfs with no problem and we may test it out so there we go the pissifun spark pro and i can say that this reel has surprised me in a lot of ways First of all, it's smaller and more compact than I thought it would be. The spool is smaller and lighter than I thought it would be. And the build quality is a lot better than I thought it would be. I mean, this reel is smooth. Everything is put together well, feels solid. But I guess we have to keep in mind that this reel started out as a, I think, $80 or $90 reel. So seeing as you can pick one up for like 40 bucks, this thing is a huge bargain and what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a link in the description. It's going to take you right to Pissifun's website where you can purchase one of these reels. And I guess the best way to define this reel to me is that this is going to be a finesse bait caster that is not quite bait finesse. So it's going to be something in the vein of Shimano's SLX MGL which incidentally is the second cheapest quote unquote finesse bait caster you can buy on Tackle Warehouse at 150 bucks. So you could literally pick up like three or four of these for the same cost of the SLX. Now, what would I use this reel for? 
I would definitely use it for maybe some upper end BFS, something down to like one eighth of an ounce, Ned rigs, weightless plastics. And personally, I'm gonna be using this reel for jerk baits this winter because it's small and compact and light. It's got a high gear ratio and the entire reel is made of carbon, which is a huge plus in the winter as metal frame reels get really, really cold. While carbon reels, they don't get as cold and they tend to warm up really, really quick in your hand. So yeah, there we go guys, the Pistafun Spark Pro. Better late than never. All right guys, thanks a lot.